In this lesson, we're going to look at how to create blocks uh, for Module 9. Uh, on page 3 of your module handout, there's a um, listing of about 13 drawings that you have to create. When you create these symbols, uh, draw the actual symbols themselves, but do not draw the dimensions or the text associated with them. So just draw the actual symbols. Now a block is a symbol in AutoCAD. AutoCAD uses the term block to represent a symbol. So we're going to create these 13 symbols, uh, convert them to blocks, and then they can be inserted into your architectural drawing. The first step in creating blocks is they must be drawn. So someone has to draw the symbols. Uh, the first block that we're going to look at is the door. The door, when you look at the actual dimensions on your um, Module 3 handout, you'll notice that it is 1 inch by 1 inch. This is called a 1 by 1 block. Uh, it's going to represent all of our door sizes for left-handed doors and right-handed doors. Uh, when we insert these, we're going to scale them to the size of the door in inches. So to get started with the, uh, to draw this, the easiest way to do this is to use your line command and draw a line at angle 135 one inch long. So I'm going to draw this at angle 135 if I can get my polar to snap correctly 45 degrees. So we'll uh, snap this in 135. Let me turn off dynamic input and we want that to be one inch long and then to draw the arc we're going to use the arc method uh, start center end so the starting point is at the top the center point is the bottom corner and then to draw the arc rotate it to 180 degrees and then stop pick that point and you have a door okay. so now that you know how to draw the door let's take a look at the process of how to convert it to a block. Every block has an insertion point. So when you look at your Module 3 handout, you'll notice that there is an insertion point already predefined for you. Okay, so we'll use the block command. Go up to your insert tab. Um, click on create block. The actual name of the command is block. Your block dialog uh, definition will appear. We're going to type in door. Be sure to assign a base point. If you don't, the default is going to be 0, 0, and that's not good for your um, drawing. So let's pick a base point, pick that corner. Then we'll have to tell AutoCAD what objects we want to use to make up the block. Select the two items. And then here we have three options, retain, convert to block, or delete. This refers to the original objects that made up the door, in this case the two objects, the line and the arc. Retain just means that AutoCAD is going to keep the line and the arc on the drawing. Delete means that AutoCAD is going to delete the original object. And convert to block just means that AutoCAD is going to delete the original object and in its place it's going to insert the door block. Okay, we want our blocks to be scaled uniformly and we want to allow exploding. Okay, click on OK. And AutoCAD just uh, converted that into a block. Now to insert a block, you would use the insert command. Click on insert. And you'll notice here in your insert tool, it lists all of the blocks that are in this drawing. There just happens to be one called door and then another one called dot which is used for dimensioning purposes. So I'm going to insert the door and AutoCAD will insert that as a single block. Okay. So the process is, is, is the same for all of these. You draw the objects on layer 0. Once you draw them then you go through the blocking process. We'll go to insert block We'll call this 40BF uh, BFD, which is bifold door. Select a base point. Select the objects. 
and convert to block and you now have a door block okay. when you draw the um, dining table you're going to have to make the arc and the circle uh, two different objects and then array them so draw the arc and then draw the the outer arc the easiest way to create these is to um, use the array command so let me delete these and I'm going to leave just one of these You want to have an outer arc and an inner arc. Uh, draw a circle and then trim them. Uh, normally what I would do is actually just start with two circles. So I'm going to go to circle command. And these are 18 inches. I'm sorry, those are 9 inches. trim off the inside on one of them trim off the outside since we want this line to appear dash we're going to override the properties uh, we're going to make it thin and we're going to make it a hidden line so now that line will show up as a, a hidden line in our drawing use your array polar command select both this arc and this one and we want a center point and we need four items and then AutoCAD will create that now you can leave everything associated as a an array um, and that's what the associative means you're just going to create it as a single object then you can use your block command you'll notice in the past we went in and out of the dialog box three times so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this our table and I'm going to check the option specify on screen now when you do that AutoCAD is going to prompt you for the base point and to select the objects once you click on OK select OK it asks me for the base point which is the center of the table then it prompts me for the objects hit enter so very simple process draw the object and then use your block command to convert it into a block so we'll call this one B sync for bathroom sink click on OK pick a base point select the objects and you've got a block creating blocks is one of the simplest processes after you have the object created Okay, so we're going to create a bathtub we'll call it tub click on OK pick the corner and select it now you have all of these blocks already predefined in this drawing